I'm joined now by Dr. Ian Sutherland. Thanks for coming in this morning. You're here today to talk about skin cancer. You are a reconstructive plastic surgery specialist. So you deal with the damage once it's been done. Of course, when it comes to skin cancer, we talk so much about prevention, but uh, for some people it's too late. And you say that uh, skin cancer cases are something you see on a weekly basis. Absolutely. So um, skin cancer cases are very commonly seen by plastic surgeons, dermatologists and other specialists. Um, and over the past 30 years in Canada, the rates of skin cancer have been increasing at a fairly steady rate. Uh, and many people think, you know, they're surprised because with the increased knowledge of the dangers of UV radiation and the increased use of sunscreen, they think the rates are going down. But in mm -hmm. fact, they are going up. Right, so you're dealing with patients, uh, what age? We, we talk a lot about how uh, we're seeing it more and more in young people, really, is that the reality for you? Absolutely, uh, I think, um, uh, I personally see probably between 20 and 30 cases of skin cancer per week. Wow. Uh, and really the age ranges I see range from people who are as young as in their late 20s to people who are you know, in their 80s, 90s and above. Mm -hmm. uh, and so really it is something that can affect everyone. But you do have those 20 year olds, 30 year olds coming into your office and, and then you're going in and you're having to deal with it. And I understand that this is a, a pretty invasive procedure. My brother, who's in his 30s, he had a few spots removed from his back and he said, you know, think of about half a golf ball deep is where you're digging some of this out from. Oh, absolutely. These procedures can be huge and, and you know, really uh, remembering that the most common place for skin cancer is on the face. Mm -hmm. When you have large skin cancers in that area that need to be dealt with surgically, it can be a, a significant thing for people. It's almost, you know, you, you look at that that, um, that concept of tanning and indoor tanning and, uh, you know, a lot of people do it be for aesthetic reasons and when you think, you know, you want to get a chunk of your face removed, that sure doesn't sound pretty, does it? No, and, you know, it's something that's kind of very very dear to my heart, the, the idea behind tanning boosts and trying to uh, talk about their risks. Uh, the WHO has recently reclassified tanning salon or tanning booths rather as cancer causing. Mm -hmm. So it's not in question. This is UV radiation, it's hitting your skin and really it can be very dangerous. Uh, really the risk, if you start tanning and you start going to tanning booths before age 35, your risk of melanoma goes up 75%. That's scary. I think, you know, that, that scares me because I, being a, a young girl in, in the 90s, we tanned all the time. You know, it was, it was um, not so much, uh, there wasn't so much press surrounding the dangers then. So that, that does definitely freak a person out. Um, what do you tell your patients when they come in with, with these spots? Do, is, it, is it hard to deal with them? Are they emotional usually? Um, oftentimes they are. I think there's a lot of people who, uh, you know, frankly don't realize um, that, you know, going out in the sun and not worrying about covering up or sunscreen is really such a risk uh, to both their skin and their health and a lot of them are quite taken aback and really it requires education uh, of people uh, to tell them hey you know as much as it pains you to hear being out in the sun and laying there you know on the beach towel without any sunscreen or being in the tanning booth this is something that can both affect your skin adversely but affect your overall health and well-being Right. And what, what are your thoughts? Uh, I want to touch quickly on self tanners because this is an, an alternative that a lot of people are turning to spray tanning uh, the lotions and such. I think it's fantastic. I think clearly a lot of people want to have tan skin uh, for aesthetic reasons and to look a certain way, especially with the summer months upcoming. Mm -hmm. uh, spray tans are absolutely fine and a great alternative to uh, laying out on the beach, you know, without sunscreen or going to the tanning booth. I think you have a very nice result and a safe result. Thanks so much for coming in this morning, Dr. Ian Sutherland, uh, talking about the, the not so pretty side of things. Thank you. When it comes to skin cancer, we thank you for that.